Today we are going to build some definitions about different geometric figures. I'm going to write some words on this piece of paper and as I'm writing them I want you to think about what each word means. Point. Line. Line segment. Ray. Acute. Obtuse, right angle, parallel lines, intersecting lines, and then finally perpendicular lines. Today we are going to build shared definitions around these words and provide an example of each one of them. You are going to need this worksheet and go ahead and do it with me on some basics of geometry. It's also going to be helpful to have a ruler or a straight edge for this. We're going to read each vocabulary word, its definition, and create an example. Let's start with point. It's a location in space. So here's an example of point. Line segment, a straight path between two points. So I'm going to have two points and then this is where my straight edge is going to come in handy because it is a straight path between the two points. Ray, a straight path that goes on infinitely in one direction from one starting point. So here's my starting point and it's a straight path, so I'm going to use my straight edge, and it goes on forever, so I'm just going to use an arrow there. Line, a straight path that goes on forever in both directions. So I'm going to draw my straight path, and then two arrows to show that it goes on forever. Acute angle, an angle that measures less than 90 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to go here, and here, and there's my angle. Right angle, an angle that measures exactly 90 degrees, and I'm gonna be to try to be as precise as possible by creating my right angle here. Remember, we indicate an angle is a right angle by forming a little box in the corner. Obtuse angle, an angle that measures more than 180. Okay, parallel lines, lines that never cross. So here's my line. Remember, it goes on infinitely, so I'm going to have little lines to it. So these are two lines that will never cross. No matter how far we extend them out, they will never cross. And then intersecting lines, lines that cross at one point. So here's one line. Remember, it has arrows on it, and this is the crossing line. And then finally, perpendicular lines, lines that intersect at a right angle. So here's one line, and then it intersects at a right angle, so I have to make it precise. And here's my right angle that it intersects at. Okay, here's what you're going to do today. You're going to do a card sort. So you're going to cut out each one of these boxes and you are going to decide how you want to do the card sort. You could place them all face down and do like a matching game where you flip one over and then you want to match it with its visual. So sorry, I had to, I forgot to point out, these are the definitions here and these are the visuals. So it, you're going to want to sort the visual to the definition. You can do it that way, or you could just place them all down and you could pick one of them up. Let's say you pick this one up, and then you can decide on which 
what this is. So you might just pick this up and say, oh, this is an array because it's a location with an infinite line going out in one direction. So it's up to you how you want to do this, but really the goal of today is to almost get to a point where you have these definitions memorized so that we can refer to these words throughout our unit and we know what we're talking about when we say parallel or when we say intersecting lines. Have fun today.